After standing defiant, New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell has changed her tune, saying she will pay back the city for about $30,000 in travel upgrades. We first broke that news to you today at noon, and Erica Ferrando is joining me in the studio with the latest on this story that we've been following for months now. Erica? Hey, Katie. In July, Channel 4 obtained documents that showed how much Mayor Cantrell was spending to travel. She would upgrade her flights to first class or business class, costing the city tens of thousands of dollars just this year. But after questions by city council members and an opinion from the city attorney, the mayor said she's now making plans to pay the money back. As it relates to the uh, thorough review of our policy by the CAO and the law department and keeping it much on that policy, not uh, embedding anything relative to the emergency declaration, I am, in fact, uh, deemed an employee of the city of New Orleans. And as an employee of the city of New Orleans, Mayor LaToya Cantrell announced Tuesday she will have to follow city policy, which means her flight upgrades will have to come out of her own pocket. Documents show the mayor has spent about $30,000 in first and business class tickets this year on behalf of the city. She previously argued the upgraded flights were for her safety and she had no intention of paying the city back. All expenses incurred doing business on behalf of the city of New Orleans will not be reimbursed to the city of New Orleans. One thing is clear, I do my job. But Friday, the city's chief administrative officer, Gilbert Montano, said Cantrell would have to pay the expenses back after a city attorney issued issued an opinion that the mayor is a city employee and has to follow the city's policy, which states employees are required to purchase the lowest airfare or pay for the upgrades themselves. It turns out that that is applicable to her. And in all candor, I have to fulfill my duties as, as the CAO and ensure that those uh, rules and responsibilities are effectuated to everybody. City Council President Helena Moreno previously threatened to cut the mayor's salary next year if she didn't pay the money back. Because she was in violation of, of the policy. So I'm glad that she'll be uh, repaying the city and that we can work to put this behind us. It is very clear that business was done on behalf of the city of New Orleans. However, I will have to re reimburse the city for those business expenses. And so I'm moving forward to do that. The good news is, as I've said, and work done on behalf of the city of New Orleans. Now, it's still unclear when the mayor will pay the city. We don't know if she will have a payment plan or what kind of timeline she'll have to follow. Gilbert Montano said Friday they are working on that. All right, Erica, thank you so much.